What's up everybody? Dale back with my Bad Bow Tie Garage. Uh, today we're doing a little short uh, shop video on putting some tow mirrors on Dad's uh, 2013 Silverado. So uh, we'll show you what's going on. Here we go. We done got the driver's side one uh, on here. I'm going to show you all how to do the passenger side. Uh, it's a fairly simple install. Walk around here and I'll show you. My old Suburban, I got to get going on that thing. Got to put a head gasket on it. Finish a little body work, but that's beside the point. First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pop this triangle piece off. It's just got three clips behind it. Pop it off. Um, and then you're going to go, you're going to pop this piece right here off. It's got two bolts behind it. This little clip right here. You're going to pull it down. Take that off for the door lock. Right in here, this piece is going to pop out. There's two bolts in it. And then right here at the door handle, this piece is going to pop out and there's a bolt in behind it. Then after all that, your, uh, your window and door lock uh, switch here, it just pops right off. It's got, I think, four plugs in the back. Just unplug all those and then you can start um, popping your uh, clips off. Uh, if your door panels hadn't been off before, you may need a... Uh, door panel tool we had to use one on the driver's side but uh, we'll show you what we're doing all right we got uh, that little piece off now to do this just gonna stick a small screwdriver down in that I'm just gonna pop that out and then pull that up it's kind of hard to do holding a uh, camera and everything at one time so you got that uh, popped just pull it right off down here at the uh, door handle, stick your screwdriver in there. This piece right here will pop right out. And you can see uh, the other bolt behind here. Now all the bolts in these door panels are 10 millimeter, so you will need a 10 millimeter socket, uh, preferably with an extension. Now for your piece under the uh, door handle, stick your screwdriver in there, push up. That piece comes right out, exposing the other two bolts in behind it. Now for this piece right here, same thing, just take a small screwdriver, stick up in behind it, pop it out, and it'll, there'll be two more bolts in behind it. Now that all that is off, you can take your 10 millimeter ratchet, take out those two bolts, bolt down here, and two bolts uh, under the armrest. All right, after you got all those bolts out, uh, this is the next piece to come off. It's pretty simple. You can just take it off with your fingers. Uh, pull from the back part first, back here toward the uh, armrest. Then it should just lift right up out of there. Now on the driver's side, you're going to have more plug-ins. Of course, you have more uh, controls, but they're pretty straightforward. Just uh, push the button in, pop those out. Then once you got those unplugged, there's a little clip right here. It's got another connector in the back of it, and that's actually the connector for your mirror if you have power and heated mirrors. So you want to just push that out and then unplug that as well. Now once you got all your wires detached, uh, you can start going ahead and uh, popping your clips out. Like I said, if your door panels hadn't ever been off, you may want to use a uh, door panel tool. But it should just unclip all the way around. Take that door. Once you get that, all those uh, clips popped off, you just pick the door panel straight up, and then you can just set it, just lean it back, and it should stay. Now to take your mirrors off, you're going to remove this little piece of foam in here, 
It's covering your bolts up. You got three bolts in the back of it. Then once you get those out, uh, just feed your wire through and uh, your mirror comes right off. Once you have all your uh, your wire unhooked from the little clips, there's three little clips, and have it uh, get it fed back through this piece, uh, you can go ahead and start taking your uh, mirror bolts out. And once you do that, just slide the mirror out and you can put your replacement mirror in. Uh, we got it with some new hard hardware, uh, little nuts that go back in on the mirror itself. Uh, some zip ties and some new clips uh, for your wire. But we're not going to be putting the new clips on. We're just going to zip tie them back to the original clips. And not going to be using uh, the new nuts. Uh, here's the factory GM nut. It's got a big washer on it um, Compared to the ones they send you so we're going to use the factory GM nuts back on the new tow mirrors now these mirrors will have a uh, foam backing piece and the three bolt holes already have a hole in them, but we went ahead and uh, poked a hole in the uh, Rubber here for the, the two little ears sticking through and then cut a slit uh, for the wire to run through as well. So now you just feed your plug back through, line your holes up, put your bolts back in. Alright, once you get your uh, mirror bolted back in, you can run your wire. We just zip tied it back to the original clip, run it back through here, and then you want to go ahead and plug it back in to this clip for your mirrors. Now you're just going to want to repeat uh, the process of taking the door panel off uh, with putting it back on. Just pick it straight up, set it back down in this channel on top, and then you can go ahead and start bumping your clips back in, and then uh, put your control panel back in, plug it all back up, and then just put your bolts back in. All right, once you have those two bolts back in, and the bolt back in down here at the door handle. You can go ahead and pop uh, those plastic covers back in. And it goes one way, uh, this one, this little notch down here. Uh, you can kind of see it's kind of, the bolt's kind of offset. It'll go on that side. It snaps in. And then this piece over here, same way, you just start the top. And snap the bottom in. Alright, we got our wires put back on. Take the front, push it down first. And it just pops right in like that. Now we're ready to put our handle back on. Once you get those bolts back in, you can go ahead and pop uh, your cover back on. You'll see the little holes, little stud right there that lines up in that hole. Clips right in. And you can put uh, your corner trim piece back on. And then last would be your uh, door lock. Just set it down on there, make sure that clip is pushed out, pop it in, you're good to go. And we also found that it does make it easier if you have your windows down when you go to put 
uh, the top of your door panel back in the channel makes life a whole lot easier but now dad's got him some tow mirrors on his truck he can pull his new camper with other than that that's about all we got for you today so don't know what we'll be doing next time but uh just wanted to do a quick little video of this well how to uh since we hadn't been doing a whole lot here recently but uh like i said i'm dale mad bow tie garage we gone